Welcome ladies and gentlemen to our lesson today. Our discussion is on uniform circular motion. I am teacher Cleophas. Our objectives are as follows. By the end of our lesson, you should be able to describe the meaning of uniform circular motion and define some terms associated with uniform circular motion. Then write mathematical expressions for angular displacement and angular velocity. Description of uniform circular motion. Circular motion is the motion of bodies in circular paths. Uniform circular motion occurs when the speed of a body moving in circular path is constant. Some examples of bodies exhibiting circular motion. This include 1. A car negotiating a curve. 2. A stone wild at the end of a string. 3. An athlete whirling a hammer in a circle before throwing. 4. Merry-go-round. 5. Motion of a clock hand. 6. Motion of a bicycle or motorcycle wheels. 7. Movement of planets around the sun, movement of moons and satellites around the planets, or generally the movement of bodies in the universe, among many other examples. Uniform circular motion is thus the movement of a body at a constant speed along a curved path of constant radius. That shows us a circle of a constant radius. If a body is moving round that circle, that body is said to exhibit uniform circular motion. Although the speed of the body is constant, the velocity keeps changing due to the continuous change in direction. This is as shown in the diagram below. Therefore, a body in a uniform circular motion is always accelerating and the velocity is directed towards the center of the circular path. This is also known as centripetal acceleration and is caused by centripetal force. If the body breaks away, it moves along the tangent. Angular displacement. It is usually denoted by the symbol theta. Angular displacement is therefore the angle swept at the center by an arc. It is measured in radians, written using the symbol theta power c. The radian is the angle subtended at the center of the circle by an arc of length equal to the radius of the circle. That circle is of a constant radius. The angle subtended at the center is theta and therefore it subtends um, an arc which is S. So that angle theta is the one that we refer to as the radian if and only if the arc 
and the radius are of the same length. Angular displacement is therefore equal to arc length divided by the radius of the circle. It can be written as theta equals to s over r. For one complete cycle, the angular displacement equals to the circumference which is 2 pi r divided by the radius and this cancels out to 2 pi radians. So one complete cycle is equal to 2 pi radians. But 2 pi radians should be equal to 360 degrees. Angular velocity usually denoted by letter omega it is the rate of change of angular displacement with time. It is expressed in radians per second, so that is the unit for angular velocity. Angular velocity mathematically can be expressed as angular displacement over time. The symbols are omega equals to delta theta all over delta t meaning that angular velocity equals to angular displacement divided by the time or the change in angular displacement over change in time. Since we know that the change in angular displacement is equal to s over r, we can write omega as s over r t. For a complete cycle, angular velocity equals to 2 pi all over capital T. Capital T is the period time or periodic time. Since the periodic time equals to 1 over the frequency or 1 over f, Omega can be expressed as 2 pi f. So in general, combining all the formulas, we have omega equals to delta theta over delta t or s over rt or 2 pi over capital T or 2 pi f. All those formulas can be used in calculations. For example, let's look at some questions. Number one, determine the angular velocity of a turntable rotating at a frequency of 10 hertz. Solution. Since we know that omega equals to 2 pi f, we need to substitute f in the formula so that we have 2 pi times 10. Simplifying this, we get 62.83 radians per second. Example 2. A car of mass 100 kilograms moves round a circular track of radius 100 meters with a linear velocity of 20 meters per second. Calculate its angular velocity. Solution. We know that v, v equals to r omega, which implies that omega equals to v over r. So we need to substitute v and r in our formula. And so omega equals to our velocity which is 20 meters per second divided by the radius which is 100 meters. This simplifies to 0 0.2 radians per second.
make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for you to be getting our videos as soon as we upload them. Make sure you also like our videos and leave a comment below. Next lesson is coming very soon. See you then. Goodbye.